Hey there gorgeous gays, version 2 here with Let's Play Yakuza 3. Today we beat Yakuza 3, um, because I have to go to Daigo at the tour, um, Tawuto Hospital. I'll save him, then settle the score with Mine. Slowly on flex arms. <laughs> Alright, we'll say goodbye to everyone. Bye Date. Guess this is it, huh? Yeah. Hopefully Haruka doesn't give you too much trouble. Oh, come on. The girl's an angel. By the way, the hospital's probably going to be flooded with Mine's boys. Make sure you're ready for anything before you head over. Oh, don't worry. I'm more than good. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we fully loaded up on everything. And if worse comes to worse, I have a, I, I, I have a, I have a real gun. So I'll be fine. I'll be chill. Don't worry. Hey, Haruka. I'm going to go to, um, to the hospital. Sorry. Time to put an end to this. Just come home safe, okay, Uncle Kaz? I know we saw this before, but it just feels appropriate to still do this. There's more chance of literally anyone else in this room getting in trouble than Haruka. At this exact moment, we've already had to go rescue Date and Mama. There was a sub story when we but when we left Haruka here where that exact thing happened. That's already happened. <laughs> Just come home safe, okay, Uncle Kaz? I will, I promise. Well, now you promise that you definitely have to. Don't worry, just wait here. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Alright, onwards we go. Kiryu walking into a finale for one of these games without being openly, I don't care if I die. Slightly, but not as openly as usual. I appreciate this. I, I, this is his character growth. He's going into the end of the game saying, it would probably be better if I didn't die. I would probably prefer that. <laughs> so let us head to the end of the game. Let's, let's double check, double check. Yep, I've got all that equipped. Yeah, I've still got the Yakuza training gear on. I don't care. <laughs> I, maybe I'll find enough of Mine's men getting up to Mine that I'll get another level up. I mean, at this point, I think, yeah, yeah they're all 160, but still, though. <laughs> But still, alright. Minimum fare 710. I would like to go to Tuutu Hospital, thank you. Very well, sir. To um, Tuutu Hospital it is. They said this is really close to Kamurocho, right? So, like, it's actually not that far of a cab ride. <laughs> We've got to hide Daigo where no one will know where he is. The biggest hospital that's in Kamurocho that has that. Oh, I know this hospital. I know what this hospital is. This is where Nishiki's sister was. I recognize the roundness at the front of that. Yeah, we've got to hide Daigo in the penthouse suite of the hospital in Kamarocho. Well hidden. Well hidden. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> I wonder how Mine found out he was here. You don't even have the third floor filled. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> they all just start running. <laughs> to be fair, I was hidden well enough to took away to the end of the game for me to find it. Yeah, but the plot of this game is really short, so that's not that fun. that's long. That's what a day later, maybe two. So, no, no, you're even talking to me. She need to hear that again. Kagate goi. All right. Time for Kiri to fight an entire army again. Hakuho clan thugs. Oh, one of them's got a sword. One of them's trying to be tricky. Maybe I can speak to him um, for about Daigo out of these guys. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm drunk, baby. I came into this fight drunk like a motherfucker. Woo. <laughs> oh, I see what they're doing here. Oh, this is like the fight at the D-Ed. Oh, this is like the fight at the D-Ed. They've got the uh, people bordering me and surrounding me, and they're gonna hit me if I get too close to them. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Fuck you. <laughs> get the fuck out of the way. We're on a warp off, bitch. <laughs> oh, one of you still got a sword, or is that a dagger? It's not my man. How do I do the one against someone who's holding a sword? Or do I need a sword out to do that? Do I have one that's just someone with a sword when I don't have a sword, or have I only got one with a sword? I know I've got the one with a sword against a sword. I meant to pick up the sword. Sword! Give him a sword! 
<laughs> Think you have to combat sense person with a sword. Ah, oh my god. That also makes sense. Whoa! Hey! I don't know if I've done that one yet. That's the drunken one. Have I done that yet? <laughs> oh, I think it's here styling for the fin finale. Sup, Rose? Yes, uh, Yakuza is worth it, and the end of Yakuza games, I'm gonna wear my suit. And I have a very particular suit, so, I'm, uh, so I've got this. I don't, I, I don't have a good undershirt for it yet. I never can decide on what I actually want for the undershirt for this thing. Like, I go back and forth on it sometimes. I'm just like, maybe a red shirt. Sometimes, like, a, like a, a, a red, um, basically Kiryu shirt. Sometimes I'm just like, maybe just a white one, because it makes the spikes highlight more. And sometimes I'm just like, even, all of that might be even too formal. <laughs> so I might go for something else. But Yakuza is worth it that it's always got to get something special. Urgh! I see you're start you're styling the um the bit badge. Hey, I like some bit badges in chat. I went to way too much effort to make way too many bit badges. Ah, they all ran away, you fucking pussies! You fucking cowards! Ah, oh, you fucking lamers! Oh my god, you all suck! Am I in red? Um. There we go. There we go. I think I had to be further away for that one to, um, to do the red heat one for that, but that's fine. <laughs> I like how when I grab their weapon, they're just like, wait, Kiryu can grab the weapons that we dropped? I thought he didn't kill people. But don't worry, Kiryu's just really bad at killing people. He doesn't know how to do Oh, you're all getting fucked up. Oh, Jesus. Are you the guy with the gun? It also broke. Okay, uh, is there any other swords around here? No. Alright. Yes, I went to Tiger Drop, shut up. <laughs> Oi, get back here! Oi! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. God. Kiryu feels like a fucking monster in this game. Like, Ki Kiryu's. How, how well Kiryu is taking out people in this game. He's a fucking monster. I, I, I know people talk shit about combat in this game, um, but like, I always, like, my favorite parts of combat in Yakuza games is how Kiryu feels, and less how the enemies feel. Um, and I think Kiryu feels really good in this game. He has, like, he has a very good moveset, and he feels very solid and rooted to the floor um, to allow for precise yet powerful attacks. A thing that he didn't have in Dragon. <laughs> Tell me where Daigo is! I know anything, our captain is also come um, down here and beat your ass. I was just following orders. Your captain? Hmm. Oh shit, he's running away. Get back here, you asshole! Burger! Alright. Defeat the captain. Alright, long battle. Here we go. We're gonna have to run through this entire fucking hospital ch chasing after these assholes. Can I go down there? No, oh, okay. I'm not gonna beat anyone with a plank. It's fine. Hey, buddies! Sup? Fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's cool that you can, like, beat up the lockers and get stuff. Ow. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. God. Like, this, ga this game is both just good, like, at giving Kiryu a moveset for different situations and different ways to, like, put enemies into advantage situations. I feel like when I enjoy Yakuza combat at its best is when I'm in a situation where I feel like what I'm doing well is being in a situation where I can control the enemies enough to put the enemies into a, like, into a wide variety of team moves. Like, if I can fuck up the enemies with a whole bunch of different heat moves, that's when I feel like I'm at the most powerful for Kiryu. Like, I know how to use all, like, I have a lot of different things in my moveset. I can use the moveset in a lot of different ways to, ah, oh, no. <laughs> I can use the um, moveset in a lot of different ways to put enemies into situations where I can then fuck them up with heat moves. It does mean that bosses in this game, because of that, kind of, like have a little bit less variety because it's way harder to build hate on bosses in this 
Like, it's hard to build uh, heat on bosses, so it does come down to basically Kamaki them with either knockback, um, parry, or tiger drop. Like, they're the most effective way to take on bosses. Basically, no matter what. So there's less ways... Like, for a lot of bosses, like, knocking them onto the ground is really hard. Grabbing them and doing the things that you can do with grabs for them is really hard. Building heat is more difficult and stuff like that. So... There we go. But that being said, there's still, like, a good variety of how bosses... Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hit him too. There's still been a good variety of bosses to feel, to feel that you have to take him out in very, in very different ways. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love how that just instantly wipes out these dudes. It's so good. That's such a good fucking, like, hate move for it. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. It's so good. Look, I'm a defender of Yakuza 3, and something I will defend in Yakuza 3 is the combat. <laughs> I feel... Like, I'm like I'm obviously... I'm not gonna turn around and just be like, nah, but the criticisms about, like, enemies blocking too much isn't true. No, that is absolutely true. But that's, like, the main bad part about it. Like, the main problem with the combat is that they're, like... There are some bosses where it's just... Hitting them in any normal situation is difficult. Like, you always have to do something to them to be able to hit them at all. And that does get annoying. Or how much enemies can turn around for you to very easily then be fucked up. Uh, like, enemies can turn around and start blocking you while you're in the middle of a combo very easily as well. And that's, like, anno annoying. But, like, game's so good. <laughs> ow. Ow, 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 ow. I want the knife. That works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I was gonna grab the knife and do the running knife, knife move, but this works too. Fuck you. Urgh. Oh, don't. <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you? There we go. <laughs> Get stabbed. Yes, Sam. Why'd you leave all these weapons around for me, you dumbasses? I feel like that's your fault at this point. Get fucking shit on! Where are you, pricks? Come fight me! Fight me, you cowards! Look, at the very least, for all of these people, even though I am fucking stomping them and absolutely wrecking them, at least with the fact that I am using so many more weapons in this, because they're just giving me more weapons to take to hit them all, at least they're in the right spot for it, right? It's not gonna take it's not gonna take them far to get treatment. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what perfect timing! What perfect timing to get the heat. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it works so well. Oh, it works so well. My god. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Oh, Hakaho Captain. Are you just on this floor? So this entire floor is your boss fight room? Is that you over there? Is that just you? All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. He's got knuckles. Oh, fuck. He's got knuckles. All right. <laughs> Holy fuck, he's got knucks! Don't fuckles with the dude with the knuckles! Ha <laughs> Oh, come on! Although that roll works very well. Ha ha ha, there we go. You gotta get the lunge off. You also gotta get him away. You gotta get him away from a wall so you can actually get the lunge off. Ow. Please die. So, uh, yeah, it's like, you, these are the enemies, alright? Like, even when you get a back combo on them, they'll turn around. Like, yeah. Like that, right? <laughs> like that's fair. That's that's 
I feel like when he does that rapid combo, I can absolutely target hook that last one. It's very telegraphed. <laughs> oh, oh! There we go! There we go, there's our target drop. Come on, hit me! Come on, do it! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, you, you are being a problem. This dude's a problem. This dude is a problem. Oh, Jesus! Okay, this dude's a problem. This dude's an issue. Parry all the way. I feel, I feel like the parry is probably the best chance, isn't it? I'm trying to do- I'm, I'm trying to be too fancy. There we go! There- oh! <laughs> that works too. <laughs> you just fought through a whole fucking army! Where's Daigo? Talk! Or do you need a little more convincing? <laughs> Trade. Well, unfortunately, I have energy drink, so it's fine. See, that's all. That's there is at least in Yakuza. If there is enemies that are giving you a problem and they are just impossible to hit, you you do at least always have the option of Tiger Drop. <laughs> Tiger Drop is, from my understanding, literally always an option. <laughs> I'll talk. I'll talk. He's up on 25th floor of the other building, room 2501. Chairman Mina should be up there with him. 25th floor. I need to get moving. <laughs> Gotta die guys hospital room. Oh my god, how many people do you want to put in my way? Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, Jesus! No, 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 no! Gun time! Yes. Fortunately, I have a lot of gun. Oh my god. Sorry, right, we're playing a shooter now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, bang, 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 there we go. <laughs> For his usual special, Kiryu uses gun. <laughs> uh, could you imagine how sick Kiryu would, like, I, I, know, I know it's a meme at this point. Could you imagine how sick Kiryu would be as a, as a Smash Bros character though? He would literally build heat and like be able to do heat moves like as one of his special things. His fucking final smash would be ultimate essence. Like how sick would that be? I hope there's no other people currently here in this hospital because there is now machine guns. There is now machine guns. Well, submachine guns, but still. It's all right, they're not top machine guns. So, um. I know how to I know, I, know, I know how to take care of this. All right, where's they don't drop this on machine guns? Fuck! I threw my other gun because I thought I was gonna get it. Ow! Fuck you! 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 Get out of here! Is there any other guns down here? There is indeed. This I think that's one of the guns that I threw that already didn't work. You'll give me a gun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Would it be cheating to stroll through this area with my golden gun? <laughs> yes? Oh, okay. Bastards. Oh, Jesus. Run. Fuck you. If you're gonna shoot, learn to fucking shoot, bitch. Ah. Rides all physics on it. I see you there, by the way. Ah! I got hit with the worst part about a gun, being hit by it directly. Hate shit and die. <laughs> oh god. It's just a warp-off, seriously. 
Like, Kiryu is just annihilating his way through this. It's not even a challenge. My god. Okay. We, we now may have... We may... We may have run into where there might be a challenge. <laughs> this might be one of the sections that ha that is a challenge. <laughs> no, never mind. We'll go. <laughs> there we go. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, one last brick left. Fuck off. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it 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 does feel good to just like. This many dudes. Oh my god, you can use shotguns? I forgot you could use shotguns in this game. I forgot you could use shotguns. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, the shotgun version of the anti-gun hit, um, hate move. I love how much it is just about to fire and he just grabs it and goes push. He just pushes it to the shot at the moment it's about to fire. Shoves the gun out of there and then just like the fucking hit in the face. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> This is not a good space to fight these two dudes. I will say that. Huh. I guess I can't use a big dude for that heat move. But I can. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can do it for this! For the spinning one, but. Didn't let me. Ow. Give me a day, Fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, God. Is this the first game that Kiryu's had just a straight up reversal to any attack with triangle? I know Majima had one in zero, but has Kiryu had one in the others? Oh, is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be the good one? Yeah, it is! Oh, God, that one's sick. God, that one's so good. <laughs> and that's similar to what we did in the Love Hotel. I feel like, because I think it's called Kamaki First Reversal or something, I feel like Kiryu's had it before. But God, it's so good. And I love how it has four variations, because left and right are different, and front and back. So good. It's so fucking good. This game has good heat moves! I've said this before, like, several times. But the game has good heat moves! I think we learned the melee fist reversal in, uh, in Kwame. And... I mean, yeah, it is a Kamaki move that he learned by leveling up. So that would mean, in theory, he's already known it before. He just has to get reacquainted with how to fight after taking care of fish for a long last time. Damn, look at the view of the city. Hell yeah. Alright, this is sus. This room is extremely sus. I, I feel like we are, we are now entering the VIP section of the hospital where the decor is fancy. Look at the fucking carpeting! Look at the floor of this place. It's a hospital. That will get blood on it. What the heck? <laughs> it's gonna get blood on it on the carpet. But, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's this prick again. I see, I, I. You're the one who actually shot them. You're the one who actually shot Daigo and Nakahara. Looks like you're a little late. God! You just missed him. Oh, the whiplash! Oh, the whiplash! Oh, Jesus Christ! Got an actual white dude to voice come this. To this. I'd have killed you when first we met. Kiri, Kiri doesn't know. Nanda to. <laughs> Nanda to. I don't understand what you're saying. If you're looking for Daigo, Mine's taken him up to the roof. The roof? Okujodana. <laughs> The whiplash of this dude talking is so weird. Like at least when Cosmo spoke in English before, it was still in a Japanese accent. <laughs> welcome to try. This is the end of the line for you, Kazuma Kidyu. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's so fucking weird. The dude clearly knows Japanese because he works with fucking um Joji and shit like that. But what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. 
Je Jesus Christ. <laughs> Up to the raw book of teams. <laughs> Brilliant line to come in with. <laughs> So when you said they got they said they got an honest um an actual no shit white dude to voice this, did they get a Canadian? <laughs> Fuck you, CIA. Fuck you. oh Jesus Christ. Did the CIA know at this point that Tamiya has already said that no, we're not going through with the base? With um, like we already know where Black Monday is. Well, I know Joji warned us. There's going to be CIA there, dudes, along with um Mine's men. Be careful. I'm trying my best to get it up there, but it's not working. There we go! There we go! Luigi Missile! Ah. Oh, it's weird to hear just a white dude speak in English in this fucking series. Oh, it's like so disorientating. <laughs> Fight me, coward! What? Do you, do you notice that I'm in Tiger Drop stance? <laughs> oh god, that works so well! Oh my god, you just- Oh god, again! People talk shit about this combat, but in terms of how Kiryu feels in this game, he feels so good. He has so many options. <laughs> he has so many options that work in different ways and in different situations. I know people, like, I, I've heard people talk shit about- Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh, it, oh, okay. Okay, so pressing the wrong button just means that, that one does less damage. I thought pressing the wrong button mean, means that you don't get the rest of them off. <laughs> but that Kiri would have just been a Luigi Echo fight as well, so maybe they should have added Chris Pratt instead of said Dr. Mario back. Oh, Jesus Christ. What you just said there requires so many levels to understand. <laughs> it's just not like a combat system, it's the enemy design. No, again, I agree the enemies aren't great. I agree that the enemies aren't great, but like, Yakuza 1 enemies are way worse. <laughs> Yakuza 1's are worse. Damn Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh yeah, cause it's Black Friday for me. Um, sup Deku. Yeah, cause it's Black Friday for me, it is Thanksgiving for everyone else. Happy Thanksgiving everyone! Welcome, happy, um... These fucking pricks killing like a bunch of people. Alright, okay. Okay, Man in Black is gonna continue fighting us, it seems. <laughs> seems like we are going to continue fighting Man in Black. <laughs> Dude who shot Daigo is not gonna go down instantly. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Oh, now we're screwed. Now we've got an issue. <laughs> <laughs> you missed Daigo on the rough. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that's, I'm glad that's a meme. I'm glad that's a meme that people are aware of. Oh my god, fuck you. Can I gun you? I can gun you. Nice. Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, check my uh, phone for game data. <laughs> game deals every two minutes. <laughs> I will say, I have purchased. I did purchase something for Black Friday sales. I did purchase something for Black Friday sales. You know how I've been bitching a lot about how my fan, fan is broken and it's, um, well not broken, but like it's, well, okay, broken. 
Uh, because it's, like, so old and dusty and, like, really hard to, like, even if I clean it, it's not gonna go back to what it was. Um, my Dyson Tower fan. Uh, yeah, I, um, I found a Black Friday sale to get $350 off of a, uh, new, newer model Dyson Tower fan. It's also technically an air purifier. The main reason I got it, though, is because, well, I love how well the Dyson fan works. So, like, I know that I'm more than happy with getting another one. Oh, this dude has a brush my little text, too. I'm, I know I'm more than happy with how the, Dyson, the new Dyson fan will work. Um, the air purifier part isn't the part that gets me. It's the fact that it has easy to replace filters. So when it gets fucked up in the future, I can just replace the filters and it's good. <laughs> As opposed to this one, which, like, isn't even designed to be pulled apart. And you have to, like, pry it open with and... Oh, Jesus. Motherfucker's back. Go to hell. Go to hell. <laughs> Let's uh, do it. <laughs> oh my god, why is he talking in English? Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. But yeah, I can easily press the filters on it. So guess what? When that gets delivered, I won't be melting and dying during my streams anymore. Oh, he changes weapons. Oh, he changes weapons. Oh, Jesus. Is this dude doing a Raze shit, but with a shotgun instead? Speaking of terrifying, my god. Okay, well, that's concerning. A Rase with a shotgun. God, I didn't know they could... I didn't know they could be something more terrifying than a Rase. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let me Luigi missile you, you prick! Oh my god! His timing is like just off to not let me do it. Get close enough. Fuck! <laughs> Rase dueling shotguns. Now that would be terrifying. Oh my god, starting maximum here, yeah, nice. See, I did only arm um, person with an English voice actor, probably worst English in the game. <laughs> look, he's trying. Look, this. Look, they had to get a Canadian dude to. Oh right, he has a shotgun out. What am I doing? He has a shotgun out. What am I doing? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, the kick is so good. He doesn't drop the shotgun, but still. Look, give the Canadian a chance. He's trying his best to get on the rocks. <laughs> Is that the Canadian accent that says rule? I mean, I probably say rule. If, if we're being perfectly honest, I probably say rule. <laughs> Maybe not as much as he says rule. I probably say. Oh my god, he shoots when he when he's on the ground. Damn. This dude really has learned how to be better a Rase. Fuck you, prick! Ugh. Ugh. Did he just go, ah, oh, shit, while getting up off the ground? I think that's what I heard him say. Yeah, he does! He goes, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, get out the shotgun. Okay, I changed mine. Don't get out the shotgun. Ah, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's Phone Girl's probably the best. Phone Girl's probably the best English in the series. <laughs> Fuck you, Brick. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh my god! I couldn't get the hammer off my And now I'm mad. This game really is the Arase Everywhere system for like the last two hours, isn't it? Like, my god! <laughs> the last couple hours of this game is the Arase Everywhere system. Alright, he's in yellow heat shotgun mode. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is for a gun in heat mode. Should be, he should be dual wielding shotguns. He should be. He should absolutely be dual wielding shotguns. Fortunately, his blocking isn't as good when he's got guns. <laughs> he does have that. He, he does have that weakness compared to um compared to Arase. Whoa! 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 Actual gun cutter shit. Go to hell. Oh my God, Kiryu, nice! Holy shit, Kiryu, dude! 
absurd! Did you see that shit that he was just doing there? My god, Carrier. Fuck you. Fortunately, whenever you get a shotgun, I get a free hate move. <laughs> One of my favorite QTE sequences. He slid between the dude's fucking legs. Like, oh my god. <laughs> So hard to do this on a PS5 controller! <laughs> Hell's Gauntlet! Now don't fuck it up this time, dickhead. BAM! <laughs> Alright. Time to do a super finish up for the second time on this guy. <laughs> Just crack everything open about him. Ugh. 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 There we go. Oh my god. Like, it's Mimi's Mim Mim English is legit pretty good. It is somehow better than this dude's. Oh, sorry, I got QTE again. Get this awesome QTE again. This part, oh my god, Kiryu, that is so slick. It's so good. It's so fun. Oh my god, Kiryu. It's so good. Holy shit. Fuck you. Ugh, damn, we did get enough shit to level up. My god. We actually get enough for another level up. Hitting with second health's going on. Bah, God, how can he survive? <laughs> uh, for the QTE, Mororase. Yeah, it's just, it's just, again, it's just more gun kata. <laughs> Alright. By the way, why am I not surprised that Mene's on the roof? Why am I not surprised that Mene's on the roof? How could we have a Yakuza game not end on the roof? <laughs> Uh, I will say, I am stunned by this game. I am stunned by the- oh my god, is he back? Oh no, it's not it's okay. <laughs> I am stunned by this- um, by Yakuza so far. This is- I- like, I really thought every game would end on top of the Millennium Tower. This is now- so far we've only had that happen once. <laughs> And it wasn't even like on top of the Millennium Tower, it was like, like it wasn't on the roof. It wasn't on the roof of it. The, like the way, where we fight Majima and shit. It was like in a building that was, a, a Jingu's fight was on the roof. Jingu's fight was on the roof. But like, Kamurocho Hills was two, and this is a hospital for three. Listen, if you're not narrating Yakuza fighting like your wrestling matches in your head, are you playing the game correctly? <laughs> That's what I mean, it's good! It's good, but god, he hit him with the steel chair. I need you to die. I don't know if it's been a thing in the other Yakuza games and I've just missed it um, and never known that it was a, a feature. But I, w but I will say, the dodge into a strong attack is is such a useful move in this game. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but like, it is so consistent at like staggering an enemy. So like, you can get a few more hits in or just get them out of whatever they're doing. And like, almost any enemy's guard it will go through. So if you, if you need to, at worst, get chip damage on an enemy, it will at least work. <laughs> he gets back into the real estate just find um, good fights on the roofs. <laughs> get off the floor! <laughs> Does Zero's boat deck count as a roof? I mean, it wasn't even on the roof of the boat, honestly. <laughs> like, there, was, there, there was parts around that. I mean, to me, that's just a, a, another case of the ending of Zero being more, um, being symbolic than anything. Of course, Kiryu's not gonna fight on top of a rooftop in Yakuza Zero. He isn't the Yakuza legend at the top of everything in Yakuza Zero. He is still fairly low on the ladder. He's just starting to make a name for himself. It's also why he doesn't fight uh, Dojima. He fights um, Shibusawa, because he's not top shit yet. So he's not on top of, it's not a dramatic battle on top of a roof yet. It's, you know, a little bit down. Daigo! A hopefully alive Daigo. Majima got a roof fight. That was, well, it was high up on a building. But also Majima's higher up in the Yakuza than Kiryu as of that game. 
Kiryu's like literally just fresh, where Majima's been doing it for a bit. Mine. He's still not like the Mad Dog or anything, but still. Hey, Mine. Buddy, I need to understand what the fuck your deal is. Your motives and thoughts seem so conflicting at this point. Is he here to kill Daigo? Because he stabbed that other dude for being happy about Daigo's death. So why would he then kill him? So what are you doing? こんなことになっちまうとはこんなことだと何を言ってるんだキリュウさん俺はね大悟さんいや六代目のこと本当に心配していたんですよ何この人は俺の人生で唯一俺を一人の男として信じてくれた人なんですよ キリュウさん。俺がこっちの世界に入ったのは神田の口利きだってこと知ってますよね。I you were a big money dude even before you got into the office. Okay. どうしてあんな男に釣り寄ってまで極道 俺はね。あんたと同じ孤児だったんですよ。何俺も生まれた時からたった一人だった。物心ついた時から貧困の限りを味わう毎日。まるで戦後の孤児並みの生活しかできなかった。あんたならわかるでしょ。誰からも愛されず誰からも必要とされずただ孤独と向き合いながら生きていく辛さをだから俺は絶対に偉くなってやる偉くなって金を手にしてやるということだけを考えて育った俺は誰よりも働いたそして誰よりも我慢した なぜかわかりますか金のためですよ金という目標ができた瞬間から俺は手段を選ばず生きる時間の全てを金を作ることに捧げてきたそして欲しいものは何でも買えるいい女も好きなだけだける周りのみんなも俺の命令を喜ん
じゃあどうしてだが大悟さんは死んだも同然俺は虚しかった目標になる人間を失った以上次の生きがいが俺は欲しかったそして心に決めた And so you've gone back to... そうだろうが何だろうが、yeah. 誰にも文句を言わせないほどの力を得てそれでブラックマンデーに協力を得てそれでブラックマンデーに協力を得てそれでブラックマンデーに協力を得てそれでブラックマンデーに協力を得てそれでブラックマンデーに協力を得てそれでブラックマンデー I know you don't want to. こんな姿をした人じゃないこんな大悟さん俺はこれ以上見たくないんですよミネお前何か思い違いしてんじゃねえのか人間しがみついてでも這いつくばってでも生きることに価値があるんだミネ、don't do this わかるか You will regret this forever if you do this. If you do this. Don't do this. You will regret this forever if you do this. Don't 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 do this. なんであんたはそうなんだあんたも俺と同じ孤児だろうがなのにどうしてそんなことが言えるんだ He's not shooting us. He's deliberately not shooting us. 俺の目標だった大悟さんは俺の手で最後のマネを引き寄せて大悟さんが大切にしていたあんたを殺すそして俺は大切にしていたあんたを殺す Mimi, you don't want to do this! Stop pushing yourself to do this! What? You're pushing everyone away by not letting anyone care about you! Because you start doing this! Ah! Yes, you're pushing everyone away! ちも涙もないれんちゅう今ここにいたらぶっ殺してやりてえよだったらなんなんだお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同じだぜお前も同
とことんやってやるぜ行くぞ Alright, Mene, let's just fucking do this. <laughs> First dynamic intro, fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Alright. Alright, first we can get an upgrade. We can get an upgrade. Dr Golden Dragon Spirit, here we fucking go. We can get a Golden Dragon Spirit! Um, secondly... Yeah, he did. He did. Um, no. I want to I wanna point out one thing. <laughs> I just said CIA. He's not a CIA agent. Um, I want to point out one thing. When Mine just said there, if you, if after all I've said, you can think you changed my mind, you're, you're free to try. Kiryu gave the tiniest little smirk. You know why Kiryu gave a little smirk then? Because he already has. Why would Mine be willing to fight us unless we haven't already at least partially gotten through to him? Why the fuck? If he is so sure of himself, if he is so sure of his worldview, if he is so sure that this is the right thing to do, if he is so sure that, like, trying to help other people and, like, stuff like that is meaningless and bullshit, and that, like, philosophy and worldview should be rejected because it's hypocritical and selfish and it's going to get you betrayed and hurt, if he genuinely believed all of that, if he genuinely thought that he was in the right thing to do this, why would he fight us? Why wouldn't he just blow our fucking brains out? Why wouldn't he just shoot us? He was pointing a gun directly at us and shot it to try and scare us multiple times. He deliberately, he didn't even like, he didn't even wing us. He didn't even do anything. <laughs> Kiryu said to bring great prosperity um, while staying in the shadows, never letting anyone uh, know they were there. Well, that makes a lot of fucking sense for me, uh, for me today, doesn't it? Fun fact, Kirins are some of the only creatures able to kill a dragon. Kirin is a nickname to child prodigies like Mine. Damn, that is good. You really don't get any um, of his backstory or motivation to the last scene here, but I think he's a fan fascinating antagonist. You know what it's really good for? I haven't, like, we obviously have got to beat it and see what, how it goes afterwards. What a fucking antag- What a fucking motivation to give to the villain of this game. <laughs> like, this is the game where Kiryu has learned to not do this- Like, he has learned to overcome, like, his, like, the self-loathing, self-hatred, su survivor skill, and everything that he had in Yakuza 2. He was willing to throw away his life for the ideal of being the dragon, or, or like- any or, or anything like that in Yakuza 2. He's learned to move on from that. He's learned to care about other people. He, Even though he has been hurt so many fucking times in the past, how many people close to Kiryu have died? How many people close to Kiryu have betrayed Kiryu? Like, in his life. And in Yakuza 2, he kind of shuts all that out and just wants to go and die. He's learned from that. He's raising kids. He's helping other people the way that he was helped when he was younger so they can take a life that isn't Mine's. He, even though a lot of friends of his have died, he's willing to, like, befriend Rikia, Emikio, and Nakahara and stuff like that. And you get all of that. Kiryu has grown as a person in this game. He is, like, more willing to... He's more willing to be open, more willing to care about all that stuff considering the shit that he's been through. So you give him a rival, like, at the end of this game to fight, who is someone who is doing all their best to shut that shit out. This dude is acting how Kiryu acted in Yakuza 1 and 2. That's what this dude is acting like. <laughs> this motherfucker's acting like those people. Like, more extreme than Kiryu in Yakuza 1 and 2, but he's still like that. Like, even, even in the end, even the final boss of this game... Sorry, I will get to the fight. I just want to get all this because I don't want to try and say this while I'm doing the fight because I want to do the I want to pay attention to the fight when I'm doing it. But like all of the HLA shit or and all the bouncer shit is about Kiryu finding other people and helping them overcome their past the way he is over overcoming his past by being able to learn how to move on from it and make a better life and stuff like that. And even the final boss is this. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> he also said Haruka like Kiryu didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing.
<laughs> he has three fuel health bars from the damage that Haruka did with a slap. <laughs> Get to listen to Fly for longer. This is a good, this is a good song. Alright. Yeah, he does only have up to green. Mina! His damage is very real. There we go. He's actually not gonna take that one to kill. He actually doesn't have that many health bars. Yeah, that was pretty well. Yeah, this thing's powerful. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> this ability is powerful. <laughs> Y'all were right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Doing this without healing may actually. He doesn't have that many health bars, but his damage is high. His damage is really high. Fuck. Fucking hell, dude. Dude. Fuck. He does so much damage. <laughs> Fucking hell! This <laughs> solar rolls dying close to the edge. No, Tiger! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I ducked that one. Oh god! Oh! Yo! Oh, nice! <laughs> Just fucking no cells the hit to the head with a headbite in return. Damn, Giryu! you. <laughs> Get another one of these off. Doya! Giryu no selling a hit like that, my favorite thing he does. Oh, okay, dude, okay. Dude has like multiple heat modes. Oh, he's regaining health? Wait, what? Wait, this motherfucker. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? He regains health? I feel like maybe I should be allowed to use items if he's fucking healing. Kawami inspiration? Why? Oh my god, he literally is weaving all of my shit. Dude, he's really. Uh... Did not kick the dagger. I will try my best not to kick the dagger. Okay, I don't like I don't want to use healing items against him, but the motherfucker is also literally healing. The hate the health ability? With what hate? <laughs> With what hate? <laughs> With what hate? I'm not getting any hate. Also, I feel like it takes a while for it to actually pop off. I don't know how to do it. Do I actually have it? Did I actually get it? In red health wave, I hit, hate the generator. I did not realize that he did that. L3 and R3. Yeah, I'm pressing L3 and R3. It's not doing anything. Is an IF7 thing? Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, God, that's barely any! That's barely any! Oh, fuck you. Okay. You're barely in heat move when you use it, to be fair. But, like, how long do you want me to run around trying to generate heat? I'm gonna get hit. You can, uh, you can parry when he starts to heal. You can parry a heal? Wait, what? Wait, what? 
You can parry a heal? What? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I'll give it an I'll give it another try. I'll give it honest attempts of trying to do it without items. I will give it honest attempts. But if this motherfucker is healing, then If this motherfucker can heal Ah oh, fuck sound, but if this motherfucker can heal, I don't know what the plan is then. I got to do to throw this upgrade every time. There we go. Oh my god. You can't be need to rely on, on, on parry and drop. Parry is just I'm I'm even like I'm unsure about parry timing in this, let alone fucking tiger drop timing. Oh my god! He has he has such good combos for getting uh for hitting the back. I have no idea what to do against this motherfucker. I really don't. Well, that works. This motherfucker is very difficult. This motherfucker is very difficult, is what I'm learning. He is a very difficult fight. Fuck you. You fucking lied to me! You liar! You cannot parry the drop! Unless there's a different way of doing it? You can't parry the heal on me. Run! <laughs> run! No, no, run, like, run away though. Yeah, 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 I'm not- yeah, I won't use items to heal, but I'll fucking run away like a little bitch for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure this is a mu a much more valid strategy. <laughs> oh my god. Look, if Mine can heal, I can heal. He's gonna get me. I'm never ready for when people grab me to actually try and get out of it. I'm never ready for it. I don't- I literally don't know if I've matched out of one hit, one in this game. Oh my god, you just can't, you're not even allowed to block his some, some of his attacks. He straight up hits through He hits through blocks on multiple of his attacks! <laughs> he hits through blocks on all of that shit. <laughs> what the hell? Like a coward! Run away like a coward! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, Mine! <laughs> is this less. It is. Oh god, fuck you. 
Is that more like? Oh my god. Is that more lame than using items? Genuine question. Is it more lame to do this than to use items? <laughs> Dragon of Doja for everyone. A skilled fighter if ever there was one. No, it's not? Okay. I feel like in red hate mode, you just have to run away from him. <laughs> he hit through everything. Like, you can say I have to parry and tiger drop things all you want, but, uh, difficult. Difficult. <laughs> Those things are difficult. <laughs> well, he's almost at half health again. <laughs> Wait till he mode, then roll him? But I need the health. <laughs> But I need the health! <laughs> but I need the health! Okay, so you can parry the heal, but like you've gotta you've gotta parry it on activation. Which feels like very, very specific timing that's hard to do. God. He just hits through blocks. Like, I, like you don't get a moment of peace if you're actually trying to confront him because he hits through blocks. Like, really hard as well. There we go. <laughs> yeah, what if while he's healing I do a hate move? I, I do a hate move. What about that? <laughs> What's up, Amine? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> this feels unintentional. This feels... <laughs> I don't think this is how this fight's meant to be. <laughs> Again, he's healing mid-fight, so why not I have a mechanic for it? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Luigi Missile, when he starts healing, is a good way of doing that. Because also... Oh, fuck. I was about to say, a heat mode while he's doing this stops him from being in that in purple heat when so he can't heal anymore, and then he just immediately heals while not in purple heat. So I'm not even gonna. I don't even want to fight him while he's in red heat. So fucking run away from that shit. Yeah. I hope everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying this incredibly dramatic final boss fight of Yakuza Three. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I kind of want to save up a lot of hate to get a big health boost back. So I'm just gonna do this for a few minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this um, even though I'm doing this without. I Still doing this without like items or anything, but. Still making it as lame as possible, so it's still a very different feeling to when we did Ryuji, right? <laughs> still not the same as when we did Ryuji. <laughs> oh god, run away, run away! God, he does- oh, he does that thing where he can get it- where he hits your back very easily. And unfortunately, even though enemies can turn around from being hit in the back to block very quickly, Kiryu doesn't have that ability. <laughs> Kiryu doesn't have that strength to him, so unfortun un unfortunately. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Is he faster when he's not in any heat mode to, like, actually chase me when I am doing this incredibly dramatic shit? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, if you asked me at the beginning today, how did I think the final boss of Yakuza 3 would go? Running around in circles for a couple minutes was not what I thought the answer would be. But apparently that's what the answer is. <laughs> oh my god. This is so dumb. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> Alright. Red Heat, let's go. Here we go. 
It's not gonna kill him, but I had red heat, so I figured I might as well. <laughs> there we go. There we go. How to get one off? Ah, oh, Jesus. Yo, let's go! Let's go! Kill the heat! Now don't fuck this up. Now don't fuck this up. Ugh. 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 And Mino is down! There we go! No he's not, he's, a, he's apparently not. Wait, no. Right, we have to- we have to have an actual way of taking him down. Mother. <laughs> Mother <laughs> oh, a very symbolic way for that fight to end. Not with like a dramatic clash of power, but Mine just exhausted basically hugging Kiryu. <sighs> have you learned, Mine? You don't need to do this, buddy. We've been where you are. You can come back from this. <laughs> oh, I think it's the woman that he was speaking to in the office. <laughs> <laughs> just put a thing in his pocket. It's alright, I, I did- I actually just mainly did, um, <laughs> Luigi missiles to his dick so he didn't get that hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's only slightly <laughs> hurt with us, I don't worry about it. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm trying to get a hold of you for so long, why have you been answering? <laughs> oh, no! 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 Oh! Horrible timing, Katase! No! Oh. Horrible timing! Horrible timing! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Katase, please shut up! Isn't that what Ibuki the HLA said? The first thing you have to do for this to work is to trust them first. <laughs> that's why that's why Daigo respected you. You admired him and you trusted him. Katase was showing to be willing to care about you before, but then you kind of shut her out, so now when she calls you, it's only about money. なぜかな。なんか吹っ切れたみたいに穏やかな気分だ。全てが終わるときってのは、こんな気分なのかな。いや。<laughs> <laughs> Don't you have something worth fighting for? Hold on to the one thing that you have left to fight for, Mine. Combat therapy cure is greatest skill. <sighs> Thank you, Mine. I heard footsteps. Can you all fuck off? Didn't I beat you up like several times? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait! That's Richardson then! The terrorists of CIA all along! <laughs> so Did Joshi know this the entire time? 
Or the CIA actually that stupid? <laughs> yeah, no, they knew they were on. They were, they were on. I'm afraid your role in all of this has come to an end. Stop an speaking English, you fucking white boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mina, I know you speak English. Please translate. Yeah, unfortunately, we just beat the shit out of each other, so it's gonna be a little bit hard for us to fight them. Two little terrorists celebrating the CIA for today. Oh, there are plenty of people who could. Stop! And unfortunately. Speak in Japanese! We don't understand you! Oh my god, fuck this white boy, Jesus Christ. Seriously. Die. Digar? Yo! When you need someone shot, call fucking Digo! Yes! <laughs> fuck. If you need someone shot, rely on Digo. This is the lesson I'm learning in these games. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Richardson! You cannot defeat the power of Daigo with gun. <laughs> uh, these two dickheads over here discussing Daigo. that ideology and fighting with their fists. Meanwhile, Daigo being the actual Yakuza and killing people with a gun. Daigo, Daigo you okay? Jeez. By the way, Mina, he's oh nowhere near as good as dead as you thought. Did you <laughs> the Daigo is awake. Tiger's awake! Mine. Mine. Oma. Dosa. Tiger, you've missed a lot. You've missed a lot. Someone said she's gonna go back in the stretcher. I've not got that. Daga. Mo. Daisho. Kaicho. Looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking die already. Jesus Christ. I won't let it end like this. I'll kill you all. Hey, Daigo, do you want to, like, re-grab that gun? Oh, you're a little bit farther away from it now. Fuck. Mina, get the gun! Oh, Jesus! Mina, no! Mina, no! No, Mina! Mina! I mean, thank you! I don't know what else we're gonna get out of that, but Mina! Mina, no! Mina, no! He's too angry at himself for the way he betrayed Daigo. Stop it! Are you nuts? キリュウさん。もう少し早くあんたに会って教えてもらいたかった。As <笑> Mine, please! Let me go! Mine! I, I don't think his purple hit's gonna heal him out of that. Haruka in the helicopter! Is Dade there? Oh, it's Joji this time! 
ジャージーキリュウさんまさか登場会を裏切ったのみんなだったんですか<笑>いや。違う。ジャージーさんの言うことは。あいつはミネは裏切り者なんかじゃない Two very obvious traitors You know, Connor and Hamazaki it was those fucking pricks, obviously Mine just、uh, killed himself for completely unrelated reasons Give me Kwame the alternate timeline, please I really wish we could have saved Mine Like, I'm really sad that Mine died. So, this guy. Like, I'm like, they show you. The, you have the final boss of the game, and I'm really sad that the final boss died. So, I'm not going to die. I'm 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 going to die. What the wait, what? Huh? 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 How are you not beheaded? You fucking lived? そんなことは。Like、the entire ending of this game is just proof how much Kiryu has learned over the course of this game. We can teach you to not be a racist. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you fucking prick. Yeah. That's a lot of blood. Huh? Oh, fuck you, Arthur. <laughs> No, we literally like disproved that right at the end of the game then. Mine was glad that people get in. Thanks, Kazuki and Yuya! A few seconds late on that one, but thanks for the assist! If you want to run over Haruka, I mean, there was still a man with the knife there, but still. Him or does someone like want to help him or no? That's just the end, and they're gonna fake us out by making us think Kiryu died again. Okay, 
The bomb was fake! Wait, wrong game. Um... I mean, even outside of the fact that there's, like, sequels to this game... You literally did the Kiryu fake out death in the last game. You literally did the Kiryu fake out death in the last game. I don't get that cutscene. That cut- that felt like a really weird way to end this game. Turns out I can't actually die. Me! <laughs> like, they literally just used the fake out again. Uh, GG Online, the non-canon Yakuza, um, CCG. Uh, Mina was actually considered to be the main protagonist of one of the chapters for a while. He's a very popular character. Mina rules! I don't know if he's, like, as cool as Ryuji, but also we get to see way more of Ryuji. But also, part of Mine's point is you don't see him much, both because he's the Kirin, and also him taking over, he's reluctant to do it, so he's not going to be in your face. I <laughs> love Mine, too bad they seem to hate Ryuji um, and Mine. I mean, once again, like, I'm sad that the, like, that the final boss fight guy died. I'm once again sad by that. Like... Mine... Like... Kiryu pulled back Mine from the brink of, like, going through with killing, um, Daigo and stuff like that. Like, as I said, Mine's just like, if you really think you can prove something to me, then fine, I'll give you a chance. At that point, we had already started to change his mind, because he wouldn't give us that chance if his mind hadn't been changed. Because what he was saying ideologically doesn't match with trying to give us a chance. Um, Shibasawa was fine at the end of zero. Everyone else so far, lol, dead. How is Shibasawa the one cunt who's alive out of all of these? How is Shibasawa the one... And the whole point of that, again, is that Kiryu didn't kill Shibasawa, and that's why he survives. Like, it shows that Kiryu is better than the others by the fact that he didn't kill Shibasawa. But yeah, um... It was a trip tr getting off the boat and died. <laughs> and he just drowned in the water and just no one decided to help him. Um... Like, Mine is sick. Mine is sick. I don't think he's at the level of Ryuji, but like, he's fucking close. I still gave him a fight where I didn't use items. I chased it and lamed it out in a lot of other ways, don't get me wrong. But he was still a f he's still- I still really like him. And it's, and it's, again, very fitting for what Kiryu's, um, arc is in this game. It's the same with Ryuji. Ryuji was, a, Ryuji was a dude with a death wish who didn't care about what happened to him. He just wanted to prove himself as the dragon. And Kiryu just got to the end of that game and just went, that's all I care about, too. Like, I'm not, I'm, I don't deserve to have these people around me. I don't deserve to, like, continue going on. I'm I'm no better than the Jingweon. I should be dead for the awful stuff that I've done. So I'll prove myself as the dragon with Ryuji and stuff like that. So, like, Ryuji, like, all the characters, like, fit Kiryu, like, way Kiryu, like, to find, like, they're all very good final characters for Kiryu to fight because of, like, a reflection they have. Like, th that is a speech at the end there. Oh, Kiryu just trying to, like, he is constantly going to the villain before and after the, the fight. Please let me help you. <laughs> let me help you. And it's like, like, that is not that different from the shit that, like, Date was saying to him at the end of one. Like, believe in people, care for them, continue fighting for them. Like, sure, you may have lost people, sure, people may have betrayed you, but there is still people left who care about you. Fight on for them. That's what Mina was doing. Mina was like, no one cares about me, so why, why should I care? Yet, Kiryu was across from him saying, I care about you. Daigo's right there, he's still alive. He cares about you. Keep fighting for that. Like, that is a really good um, final boss and final character. He didn't get as much, like, setup and stuff like that, so I don't think he's as good as Ryuji for that. But also, I don't know how much he would work with um, extra setup. I'll see Assassin, Marjorie Ford at the end of Zero, but only because Sarah came in and said, hey, maybe don't kill this dude. <laughs> hey! Mame's house is back. Mikio! You're okay! Mikio's okay! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Whose perspective are we meant to be watching this from? I feel like it's Haruka's because it's slightly above the height of all the other kids. Hey! Saki hangs out with the kids as well! Yay! Oh no, there is Haruka. Maybe we are meant to be watching from Kira's perspective. He survived! Yay! It was a fake out all along! <laughs> uh, and Morning Glory's rebuilt. Yay! Yay! I'm, but that was my thing about, like, that ending is weird. Because, like, they didn't, like, show all the kids happy with Morning Glory rebuilt. Like, this is why we did all this shit. For the kids. <laughs> like, come on. And yay. Yay. Two continues, one of them being on Mime. Sure is a good thing we got to rebuild off camera. I mean, I imagine this is meant to be a, a quite some time afterwards. I mean, Mikio doesn't even have a scar on his forehead and stuff. Um, and, and things like that. That felt like a short ending overall. Like, the thing with Hamazaki and then that, there's like... There's not, like, that many cutscenes after the ending. I was kind of expecting there to be a bit more, but there's that. Fun fact, there is actually a bit of post-game challenges that aren't the climax fails. It's not super worth it, but still. In what sense? Like, in the main game? In the base game? I mean, I'm probably not going to dorm, but... <laughs> but interesting. Interesting that there is, like, still some um, some stuff there. Yeah, yeah, that... I don't know, I feel like just Yakuza 1 has set me up for expecting, like, an hour of cutscenes after I beat the final boss. <laughs> Sorry, Yakuza 0. I feel like Yakuza 0 has set me up for expecting, um... Actually, think of the main menu? Ah, okay. So it's not, like, in the main... I thought you meant, like, running around Kamurocho and stuff like that. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think it says Yakuza 0 it just sets me up for expecting endings to be, like, a... And th I guess that what... Uh, if you count the stuff with Mine on the roof. Like, seeing... Um... Seeing Mine, like, after you fight, like, there's a lot of Mine and Daigo and stuff on the roof still. There is still a fair bit of that, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mine on the wharf. <laughs> Fucking. You gotta love how the terrorist cell just, like, infiltrated the CIA and worked with them. And they had no fucking idea. Like, the game's really just turning around and saying, Damn, the CIA are a bunch of chumps and a bunch of heartless pricks. And also terrorists. Which, like, yeah. <laughs> Which, like, yeah, true. Uh, you can actually fire Hamazaki in the post-game modes. He has his own AI and grunts and stuff. It's possible he was meant to be an actual boss at one point. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you never did fight him during the game at any point, did you? Like, Hamazaki never actually came up as a boss fight or anything. Interesting. Um, so this game rules. I have no idea whether this is a controversial opinion. Um, opinion. Of, like, what most people would consider. And I don't even, like... I had to question it at the end of Kiwami 2. It's not even a question at this point. Yeah, this is this is number two on the list so far. Easy. Easy. It's not even... It's not even a close question. Like, it's zero, then three, and then two and one are down here. Like, this is easily the second best Yakuza game that I've played. It doesn't make zero. No. <laughs> but, like... Beating Yakuza 0 is unfair. Like, it's literally unfair for um, any of these games, especially made that much before um, Yakuza 0 to surpass, surpass Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0 does so much shit, um, is expanded in so many ways, sub-stories are expanded in so many ways. Yakuza 0 goes to more ridiculous extremes with the sub-stories and stuff like that. Um, Cutscenes and dramatic stuff and like the fighting and combat and stuff like that. Like, It's unfair to compare these games to 0, I really feel like. like Yakuza 0 is like a flash in the bottle kind of thing. Um, but this is easily better than 1 and 2. I don't even think it's questionable. <laughs> like... Sub-stories, areas that you explore, combat, main plot story, characters, theming... Like, this game is better than 1 and 2 in every single one of those regards. Except for, like, how it feels to control Kiryu. I still think Kwame 1 is the top of that list. I still think Kwame wants to top of that list, but then you also got to counter the fact that you have to fight your, uh, Kwame 1 bosses in Kwame 1, so there is that. <laughs> I us go back and forth um, with 3 since I am biased for it being my first Yakuza. This game fucking rules. This game is so fucking good. Like, 
it has one it has one main issue across the entire game and that's pacing like it's pacing is fucking weird <laughs> it's pacing is um bad like the amount of times that main store like i love all the curry the dad stuff I love that stuff. I think that stuff is important for the themes and the character development of Kiryu. You can't remove that stuff and have this game mean the same thing that it does as before. You can't. You can't get rid of that stuff. Um, I do think, I definitely think the Kiryu the Dead stuff should stay, and it should stay where it is, right at the start to learn that Kiryu changes, and you get a little bit towards the end, right before the orphanage is destroyed, so you get re so, like, it reminds me, you, and of your, and Kiryu's attachment to the kids, right before the tragedy happens, it's not like, you see them at the start, you never see them for a long last time, and then you just see them at the end when the tragedy happens, they re-remind you of them, right before tragedy happens, so, I'm, I love, like, that content, where that goes, and stuff like that, it does get in the way. <laughs> Specifically, it gets in the way with how often the story will turn around and say, we're going to do the next big dramatic story thing. Oops, here's another thing. Okay, now we'll do the big dramatic next dramatic so we'll actually do it this time. Oops, kids thing. Alright, okay, well, we're seriously gonna do the- oh, no, more kids things. <laughs> If it just did all of that, and then it turned around and said, now we're doing the plot, and then you just went to the plot, it would be so much better. <laughs> it would be so much better. <laughs> but no, they have to keep interrupting the main story with the kids. And that's where the pacing gets fucked up. And also the pacing is fucked up because it's just like, you take out Kanda, you get so sidetracked taking out Hamazaki, you don't even fight him and you fight Laoka long instead. And then the game realizes it's ending soon, so I'll uh, get a minister of the government to literally give you exposition for an hour. Telling you what all of this, like, the twists and turns of the plot is instead of discovering them naturally. Then go boss fight, boss fight, boss fight for the end of the game. Like, the pacing is the worst part about this game, and I'm absolutely not going to, re going to refute that. Even outside of that, this game's story is, like, better than 1 and 2. Easy! Easy better than one and two. Well, actually, it was very important for Kira's character. I didn't, um, it didn't really change much, um, for the world overall, I feel. Yeah, but, like, you experience the world through Kiryu, so I think that's important. 0312, mine is 0321. I would probably put... The thing is, if the boss fights weren't so terrible in Kiwami 1, I might put Kiwami 1 over Kiwami 2. I think it's, like... I have so many problems with Kiwami 2, but that game has really, really high highs. Um, and Yakuza Kiwami 1 has really low lows. So if the boss fights weren't so atrocious in Yakuza Kiwami 1, I think 1 would beat out 2 for me as well. But like, I can't forget that over half of my gameplay time of Yakuza Kiwami 1 is fighting annoying boss fights. So it, it doesn't do that. <laughs> Gotta buy clothes to ship um to ship our kids um to ship our kids together. We're not shipping the kids with each other. We already tried that and it revealed that one of our kids is a fucking racist. <laughs> yeah, because the three is a good man. I should replay zero someday, see how they stack up, but I gotta go through all the others. I like I I would be very curious to go back to zero after playing a bunch of the other games. Because obviously my expectation for what I like going into any game after zero, I had expectations for what a Yakuza game was. That definitely, like, like even just, like, knowing that you'll get into wacky sub-stories, knowing you'll get into ridiculously high-tension story beats, knowing that the game is going to make you fucking cry. Like, all of that, like, I knew all of that stuff was, like, how Yakuza, like, was structured and stuff like that in 1, 2, and 3. I went into Yakuza 0 not knowing that it had sub-stories. <laughs> like, I literally, because I... I mentioned it during my Yakuza um, 0 LP. I got into Yakuza 0 by watching the best friends LP it, and when Kiryu dropkicked the dude out a window, I stopped watching it and I went and played it. So I went into that game without even knowing that it had sub-stories, or like all the mini-games outside of like karaoke that it had and stuff like that. I didn't know that Yakuza were these games that had this big expanding shitloads of different types of content, and like, that takes every one of those things to the extremes that it does. So... How much of Yakuza 0 is just me being blown away by all of these things that I had no expectation of? Whereas if I do it now, knowing that, like, what it does, does it still have the same impact? I have no idea, but I wouldn't actually do that. Um, but I wouldn't actually, like, do that until after I did a lot of the others, because there's that. Out of these, mine's probably 0, 3, 2, 1, OG 2, not Kiwami 2. I, I, I've got to do some video at some point on the original Yakuza 2, just to see the extra content they do. <laughs> 
um, and stuff like that. This game rules, though. This game fucking rules. Um, if there's something that I'll say that this... I think the thing that this game does the strongest, even stronger than Zero. And I think it's a big reason why stuff like the pacing of the plot or how often, like, new sub-stories interrupt the plot and stuff like that. Because also, I mean, that like, that's my own problem. But also, if the game doesn't want the story to be interrupted by new sub-stories appearing, unlock all the sub-stories as a batch as opposed to, oh, you did two new cutscenes, but didn't actually, like, get anywhere in the story or even finish a chapter. Here's, like, three new su um, sub-stories that have unlocked. If the game wanted me to not have that weird pacing for sub-stories, it wouldn't have unlocked them that way. Um... But something that this game does better than all the others is theming. Fuck the game, the theming of this game is strong. And I think a big part of the reason why the theming of this game is so fucking strong is because it's not just contained to the main story. So much of the side content, like, ties into the main theme of the game. Which is, like, Kiryu, like, overcoming his past and learning to be a better person for it and trying to pass that lesson on to other people. Like, that's, that's, Kiri, like, that's the theming of this game. Kiri has to literally confront all of the past, like, he's left the, the life and stuff like that and personally grown, but the consequences of his actions and stuff still exist. And he has to confront a lot of that shit. And a lot of that shit that comes up from the past also has that aspect of Kiryu has learned how to move on from his past and grow past it and to become a better person. And a lot of side content and the final boss of the game... All, and even, like, some of the other parts during the main story, stuff like Rikia and things like that, are all about just, like, helping other people become better person and overcome, like, the bullshit that they've faced. Remember Kwame 2 substory referenced Yakuza 3? I have no idea. No idea on... Ilyu Jin or whatever the Korean actor's name is? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what, um, what you're referencing there. But yeah, like... Thematically, this game is really strong because it ties its themes into more than just the main story. And it's a good theme, too. Um, and just, like... I mean, obviously, like, I've just... I've... Like, I recently started playing Kill the Past series, so that whole concept is on the back of my brain um, immediately because I've also played that. So, uh, like, maybe if I play this game at a different point... Um, point or I thought... I just realized my, my microphone, like... I apologize if my voice has been, like, quiet or anything during this entire stream. I just realized my microphone was pointed really far away. My bad. I hope that didn't ruin the final episode of this. Um, yeah, obviously just, like, doing Kill the Past, all the idea of just, like, overcome your past um, is a thing that's strong in my head. And maybe if I hadn't played that game so recently, I would, like, learn... Like, I wouldn't read that much into that aspect of this. But also, it comes up a fucking lot. You fight fucking... You feel... You, you fight fucking Lao Ka Long. You fight fucking Kazumi. You fight fucking Arase. <laughs> like, all of this shit comes up. Sound good for this whole monologue? Nice. Awesome. Perfect. Also, sup, Domino? Welcome to the end of the stream. I feel like this has happened to you several times now. <laughs> um, no, this game rules. This game fucking rules. Um, if people want to complain about the plot, yeah, okay. You can complain about the pacing, but I think the rest of it is better than 1 and 2 is easy. Um, and if people want to complain about the combat, yeah, sure, like, the bosses can be annoying with how they block and stuff like that, and that can be irritating, but also the way that you control Kyuri was some of my fucking favorite in this entire series. Um... Like, going from Kiwami 2 of just Kiryu being such a floaty, slippery fucking boy with all of his moves and stuff and coming into this game where everything is much more rooted and solid to the ground. Oh my god, things have so much more impact in this game. Oh my god, things have so much more impact in this game. It's almost like, and this might be a wild fucking idea, but it's almost like when your combat isn't based entirely on look at the physics, go in our physics engine, all of the moves and actions that people do in this game feels more choreographed to look hype for action. It's almost, it's almost like relying on every movement that characters do to interact with physics makes it harder, harder to choreograph stuff to feel like it has a lot of impact. Weird that, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so it's just like, eh. Uh, he's referencing the movie director in one of the sub-stories in Yakuza 2. The movie he was, um, directing was, um, an allegory to the response Yakuza 3 got. Oh, is- oh, I- Oh! I remember some- I remember some, like, movie about that. I don't remember what the plot of the story was, so, okay, I don't remember- 
I don't remember how that sub story went, but I do remember, yes, we were talking to a director who was making a Yakuza movie, like Sunset or something like that. Uh, of Sunset on the Golden Age, that's a Nail Storm album, probably not that. <laughs> not a complaint, but I love the soundtrack for the series, but this might be my least favorite, including spin offs. Still, some bops like Fly. Um. And I say, when I think of good music in Yakuza, I just think of Yakuza Zero, so it's really hard for me to do that. Endpoint is top tier, too. Endpoint is really good and way better than what Arase deserves. Look, I fucking hate fighting Arase and stuff like that, but I won't deny that Arase showing up is one of my favorite moments in this game, because there's not many things the game can do can, that can elicit that much dread and just, oh, fuck you, as Arase showing up after two fucking games. Terrible YouTube comment, so that's why his theme is called Fly. Wow! Wow! There's a lot of good songs. Then the game, again, the game has good songs. It's just when I compare songs for 4, I just think of Yakuza 0. Um, and then I just think of Two Dragons and Rain. Um, and then nothing else comes to mind after that. Because <laughs> those two, because those songs are fucking bangers. Though that being said, the final boss fight music for fighting Ryuji in uh, Kiwami 2 is also... Really, really, really good. Um, yeah, Yakuza fucking rules. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll continue saying it. Yakuza is my favorite game franchise. None of the games are in my top 10 of like all time or anything like that. Yakuza 0 might be top 20, I don't know. Um, but just like for how much I enjoy how much different shit the things do, how much I enjoy just the series overall and stuff like that, this is still easily my favorite game franchise of all time. I like as a whole franchise, nothing has beaten this yet. And I'm barely through it. This is game four for me. And there's like 10 or 11 that exist right now, just in English. What about day two A? Dick to us. I don't know what. Day two A. Day two A. Dick to us. I can only think of dick to us. It's the, only, it's the only thing I can think of. Dead or Alive 2? I don't know what... I don't know what... I don't know what game franchise is D2A. I... The Common Fight Song. Oh, I thought... I, oh, I didn't realize you were talking about that song. Oh, the Conman Fight Song? Oh, is that the fucking... The Bob one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, like, is it that one? Best, fu best music in the franchise. 100 out of 10. Uh... For those of say Shadow Claw is my favorite game, Yakuza is my favorite franchise. I don't know where the games would um would be ranked uh, would be ranked too hard. Yeah, that's the thing. Like again, I don't think the game like none of. The, I mean, I know, I know none of the games enter my top ten, but it's it's still my favorite franchise. The overall what the franchise is and how much different shit you do in the franchise and what the franchise represents. Oh, I fucking love it. It's so much. I am excited for Yakuza Four. I'm starting Yakuza Four in like just over a month. The idea from this point going forward is that I start a new Yakuza game every January. And, um, July. So I do two Yakuza games a year. Because if they're going to continue releasing one new Yakuza game every single year, it's going to be really hard for me to, uh, keep up with them if I don't do two games a year. So, see for Yakuza 4 in, like, a month. Uh, that I'm excited for. Hey, 2 million yen. New mode's been added. Hey! Rose, thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Hell yeah. Craig, you, um, data has been used for this new unlock post clear mode. Save all elements. We begin new game, um, new game using clear data and elements such as slope, so progression will not be saved. Recommend to create a new save data. Please be aware of overriding existing stuff. Um, well, I will save over, so, uh, I will save over the first slot then. If I, so if you to play four, um, just got, um, uh, uh, I just got to finish, um, it on Legend Flight and maybe wait for you to stream. Got to celebrate the occasion. Thank you. Thank you for the gift sub. Who ended up getting it? Does it say who ended up getting it? Hey, I got it! <laughs> Not I. I got it. A I, um, got it. Oh, I can watch this now. I can watch this now. Yeah, let's go. I haven't watched this the entire time. Oh, that's like literally. Yeah, that's literally like the shot right before the end. There's all the titties. Is this the music that was just playing when we fought Mine? Is this the music that was just playing when we fought Mine? Or is it just similar? This final boss theme wasn't the opening. Yeah, no, it is! What the hell? Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Music for the title screen will change? That's nice. Hey, we actually get to see one of the flame um, su um, sub badges. Nice. 
I don't know if you don't watch that um, watch them um, before playing the music. <laughs> so I can't watch this because look how many spoilers there are. Oh, I see Reek here. Reek. So that's the thing. Out, like, for everything for this game, everything this game did, has there been a moment that has emotionally devastated me as much as Reek here? No. No. That's still number one. So it's fun with Yamini opening playthrough in the final confrontation. I don't think that's... I don't think that's what it is in this situation. <laughs> I think it's a bit of the inverse. There's Lao Kao Long. You just get to see him. You just get to see him there. Majima did not run over Haruka and the children. <laughs> Awkwardly cut that, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. There's Kazuma. There, there's the bull scene. That's literally one of the final shots. Don't watch these things before you play the game. Hey! <laughs> hey, look at that music. I think it was, hey, we aren't gonna pay the license to the um, Japanese opening, let's use the boss theme. Well, that's what I mean, like, you don't get Bubble and Yakuza Zero in the West, and that's some fucking rules. <laughs> Pretty sure I had, like, every damn cutscene included. To be fair, there isn't that many to go from. So, Premium Adventures, um, without the story. Ultimate, so Ultimate matches this game's Climax Battles, then, I guess. And we also have Extra. Because the game isn't extra enough as it is. Alright, pool, darts, bowling, golf, battle for survival. Costume change for Kiryu and Rikia. Costume change for Haruka. Haruka's requests. X triple S. What is that? There's so much shit here. What is tag? Is it literally run after people and tag them? And also two player stuff, nice. Ricky, a zombie costume? I swear to god. I can't select the extra costumes. You can press X for info. Oh! It, okay. Okay, for these ones, it's just something that you can do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I understand. If you want to load into Premium Adventure for a sec, you can see the old costumes. Oh, okay. Battle for survival. So at level one with zero skills, take out the streets camera, show batting your way to random encounters to get to the final boss. Oh my god. Is this literally just fight every boss fight like a boss rush mode? Boss 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 rush mode? Oh my god. Survival tag. Complete 10 missions without getting caught by pursuers. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's just fucking- it's ultimate tag! All-star tag! Um... Oh, all-star tournament, okay. All-star tag tournament, oh my god. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, tag- Dream tag match using Kiryu and Marjoram at the Coliseum! <gasps> oh, if I'm doing heat moves for like a ranking system, I'm absolutely gonna do team up attacks where you get to see Kiryu and Marjoram do a heat move together on someone. <gasps> Best game ever made. Best game ever made. Best game ever made. Best game ever made. Here you Majima Tag Team, they're all the fun enemies you can fight there. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna do content for that stuff, because that's not how I do these things, but interesting. Interesting. Oh, hell yeah, net crack. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, go. So, hey Bob. So how do I see, uh, is, is Haruka at Serena? How do I do the, I actually didn't check. How do I do the alternate costumes? Hide out in Serena, okay. All right, I'll, I'll see what the alternate costumes are. And I think I know all the curious because I saw them throughout the game, but unless there's any extras unlocked. All right, oh, hi buddy. Hi buddy. Change. All right. All right, normal change. Hey, 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 hey. Hawaiian shirt wrestling match, dumbass. All right, okay. Haruka, why? Why? I appreciate that she. I appreciate that she has like her costume from two, though. Yeah. 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 Yeah, look at us fucking idiots. Hell yeah. 
still I still I still really wish that if you did the sub story that got Riki as wiper dotted that it, it, it would be dotted and hey she's wearing her Yakuza 2 outfit why is there a swimsuit option for Haruka she's like 13 what the hell like I understand why she'd be wearing that if she's like at morning glory but like we're in this what the fuck hey Riki how's the voodoo magic doing brains oh I made myself sad I made myself sad hey mama what do you think of my outfit I look a little tired Damn, damn, tired is what I look like. All right, okay. Well, on this shot here, on this lovely shot here, we're gonna end Yakuza 3 in the most emotionally appropriate way with this screenshot. Yeah. So until next time, which is Yakuza 4 in not that long. I'm very excited to play another Yakuza game. <laughs> I know I just finished this one, I did, and it wasn't long before I did this one that I did Kiwami 2. I love Yakuza a lot. I'm very excited to get back into another one. I kind of want to start Yakuza 4 next week, but I know I probably shouldn't. So, until next time, this is version 2. Signing out.